Hey guys. All right, tonight I'm gonna work on something that I've had for a day or two. It's been exciting for me. Check that out, an old bayonet. So to the best of my knowledge, with the help of some friends, it's a model 1893 Spanish bayonet. It's as close as what we can get to it. I think that's it though. A friend of mine dug this out of an old barn and said, man, that looks like old, right down old History Hound's alley. And so he gave it to me. I'm gonna see if we can't bring this thing back to life a little bit. Now, I'm not an expert at this. Don't have a ton of tools, but I do have a little sandpaper and a few little things, and we're gonna see what we can do with this. I, I think this one, this one could display kind of pretty. All right, so I think what I'm going to start out with, where'd it go? There it is. This little sanding pad here might get down in the nooks and crannies. So you can see it's starting to get through that, that rust layer. Don't want to go too hard with that heavy grit stuff. So let's go to the 320 now. Take a little bit more time and see what we can do. You know, the question I have about this old bayonet right here is how in the world does this thing end up in a barn in Western North Carolina? There's all sorts of possibilities, but I like to think big. So let's place this old bayonet in history. So model 1893 Spanish bayonet. What could it have seen? Well, it's possible that this old bayonet might have been down in Cuba, July 1st of 1898. That's a pretty important day in history, one you've probably heard of. You ever heard of the charge up San Juan Hill? Well, that's a good story. And there might be a little bit more to that story than what you realize. Teddy Roosevelt, he was a good president, pretty good guy by all accounts. But Teddy, he was a politician. It was said of Teddy that there was not a wedding that he attended in which he did not wish to be the bride, or a funeral in which he did not wish to be the corpse. Well, Teddy liked to be the center of attention. And that old charge up San Juan Hill, well, might be a little bit more to that story than what we were led to believe. Because, you know, it turns out that day, July 1st, 1898, there were two hills. One was called Kettle Hill, and one, of course, was called San Juan Hill. And Teddy Roosevelt and those Rough Riders, well, they got tasked with going up Kettle Hill. And they did. Got all the way up to the top. And that's when Teddy looked around and, boy, he noticed all the action over there on San Juan Hill. And uh, not wanting to miss out on that action, well, Teddy, he just hollered out, Charge! 
and he commenced to charging up San Juan Hill. Well, we don't know how far he got, but at some point he turned around and looked and, well, unfortunately, only five of his soldiers had actually heard that command and followed him up the hill. That wasn't quite enough to charge a hill with, so Teddy went back to Kettle Hill and regrouped and got some more of his boys and, well, he charged on up San Juan Hill. Only problem was, by the time that Teddy and his Rough Riders got to the top of San Juan, well, fighting was pretty much over. So, it didn't stop him from taking a few pictures and telling a few tales. And Teddy Roosevelt, well, he became the hero of San Juan Hill. And maybe, maybe, maybe this bold bayonet was there to witness all the action. I like to think so anyway. All right, guys, this thing is looking a lot better. So we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of oil. WD-40. Let's take a look at this thing. We got the vast majority of that rust off of there. So artillery uh, F and then it's a small CA. I thought it was kind of halfway missing letters. That's F small CA Le Torvido 1894. I'm gonna have to address the inside of that. Not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but we're gonna do some bluing on this. Reblue it, and it'll pretty much be done. Pretty old, cool old piece of history right there, I think. I'm glad just to have the opportunity to work on it a little bit. Mm -hmm. 